4070 Ti launched on the 5th of January and we actually launched it before we got it. But after seeing the results and the reviews, we really wanted to take our time and share our take on what's happening with the RTX 4000 series and specifically why the pricing is so weird. I mean, I won't say high, but it's a little bit of weirdness in it. Now, before we talk about anything else, let's quickly run through what the 4070 Ti has to offer. Starting off with the gaming benchmarks. It's actually competing with the 3090 Ti. Now, let that sink in. The 4070 Ti has the gaming benchmarks. It's actually competing with the 3090 Ti. Now, let that sink in. Now, forget about the card naming and the unlaunch. The fact is, this is an 80,000 rupee card, outperforming something that was double the price. Obviously, as Jensen Uncle told me, 1.8x performance होगा। वैसा तो बिल्कुल ही नहीं है। In fact, in most games, 4K performance in the 3090 Ti is actually slightly ahead, mostly because of its extra 24GB RAM. But let's be honest, उन्हें पता है कि ये Keynote चेक करके वो कार्ड नहीं खरीद रहा। We are all watching the reviews and then making the decision, जैसा इंटरनेट करता है। That's the main reason कि हमें लॉन्च से पहले कार्ड मिला। Right? 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 Which brings us back to the point that the 4070 Ti is outperforming the 3090 Ti. Even in productivity, even sub benchmarks, 4070 Ti handily beats the 3090 Ti, but only falls behind in high VRAM workflows. Bina mistake ke bol diya mein. Also coincidentally, the 3090 Ti is running out of stock, at least in India, which is kind of explaining the entire pricing scenario here. All of Nvidia's new cards are extremely strategically priced and built in a way that the 3090 or the 3000 series, in fact, doesn't become obsolete and there is still a market for them in spite of the 4000 series launch. Yes, the 4090, 4080 and the 4070 Ti are priced higher than previous gen variants, but they are nothing like, huh? but they are nothing like before. These are nothing like the previous cards. The 3070 for most of its lifetime was sold above 1 lakh rupees. That's an average selling price of around, you guessed it, 80,000. Exactly like the 4070 Ti. You could say, that happened because of the mining shortage, but actually the shortage was two years ago, that's what NVIDIA is now affecting. Because NVIDIA has bought the stock of 2020 and 2021 from the shortage before the shortage. But now, NVIDIA has to make a newer purchase for 4 nanometer lithography from TSMC. The entire industry is seeing an overall price hike because of this. Now, I think being gamers, it's important for us to understand this. These GPUs, like these GPUs, are not just made for gaming. Less than 40% of our PC buyers are gamers and less than 20% of that opt for a high-end card. Something like a 3070 or above. These cards are also made for professionals jin ke liye, this is not a luxury purchase, but it's an investment. Or unke liye, as long as the investment has a good ROI, they probably wouldn't have a problem paying for it. And for them, there are only two things that define this as a good investment. The price and performance, which brings us back to the first point. This is an 80,000 rupee card beating a 1.5 lakh rupee card. So for the professional consumers, ye to bohat hi achha deal hai. As long as they are buying, which they are, it's unlikely that we'll see a price change. But is this worth it? Absolutely, if we go back before the shortage, the card which had launched for the exact same price or rather similar price was the RTX 3080. And for people who didn't make the jump to RTX 3000 series, you're now getting a better card than RTX 3090 Ti for a lower price. But at the end of the day, this is just our take and nothing more. Let us know what you think about the 4070 Ti in the comments below. Until next time, cheers. Bhoat mas kaade khari do yaar. Crazy kaade!